McDoochy Double. Word. Welcome back, everybody, to a, a very special Christmas episode of Double File with Cowboy Caden and Dale. Dale with a new job. Jesus. Free from the shackles of Matt Kenseth's old sponsor. <laughs> the sponsor that was on the car when he completely plowed Joey Logano. Oh, Joey Logano. <laughs> you know what? I wish I'd been working at Dollar General during that. I'd have been so proud. I'd have worn like Dollar General shirts. <laughs> I wonder what Dollar General's reaction to that was. <laughs> They got a lot of they got a lot of airtime out of that. They still do because it's replayed every fucking year at nauseum. Dude, like I'm it's going to be that versus the wall. The hail mailing would get played. Get, what gets played back in the yeah. Season. You know, just being at Martinsville back in late October, early November, whenever it was, sitting in that corner where that happened, I was like, I can't believe that happened right here. It looks like it wouldn't even be physically possible. <laughs> and everybody I talked to that had been there during the hail I was on a cruise during the hail and everybody that was actually there was like dude it didn't look real it looked like they couldn't even describe what it actually looked like to see it in person as crazy as it looked on camera imagine sitting there and looking uh, up and seeing that shit like why I, I made how many times have you heard me in my live streams over the years when somebody's trying to catch somebody late at a place like Darlington or, a, or like a flat track, I'm like, fuck it, send it around the wall. <laughs> and I'm just like half kidding. I didn't know it was going to work. Well, Larson did. I would have loved. Larson tried to in 2021 20, uh, at Darlington. Yeah. Sure well, did. If you would have been able another place, to you could almost that. do it. If you would have been able to stream that, that would have been priceless. Oh God, yeah! It's I was on the cruise. I was on the cruise when Kenseth killed Logano, and I was on the cruise when Castain did the Hill Millen. You need to stop you need going. to stop going on Martin's <laughs> cruises. I was about uh, to say well, that. Well, I hated I hated when it was like, oh, I'm on the cruise during Martinsville, but then a couple of years it was during Texas, so I was like, oh, sweet, I'm not going to miss a damn thing. <laughs> no, you wouldn't miss anything at Texas. And then they moved the schedule around. It was like, oh, great, cruise is back on Martinsville week. Damn. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Ass. It was Texas for a couple of years, and I didn't miss a fucking thing. <laughs> Any of those three cruises. So we do have some silly season news that we that we haven't talked about. Um, talk yeah, about like a guy silly getting season? rewarded for bad performance yet again. Yeah. Welcome to NASCAR. Um. We got Gregson going to the 10, Josh Berry going to the 4, uh, Sammy Smith going to the 8 car in Xfinity for Dale, uh, for Junior Motorsports. Also, How about that uh, JGR lineup? Yeah, Sheldon Creed along with a bunch, of, a bunch of part-timers going to be in the, I think, 20 car. And who's driving well, the 60 at Daytona for Roush? David Reagan. David Reagan. David Reagan, okay. See if he rock can, star, the return of the rock star. Let's see if he can keep from going from changing lanes before the start finish line this time. Also, Do you guys 20, under go ahead. The 20 is driven by Nemechek and Almarola. The 19 is driven by uh, Joe Graf, um, fucking Sailwich, Truex, and one other. Did you just say Sailwich? Uh, who's running full time for? Salowitz for full time for Gibbs. Anyone in Xfinity? Um, Creed. 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 Smith. Smith. Creed Chandler Smith. Chandler Smith. 18 got and it, 81. Got it. Ah, it's okay. So I was hoping they wouldn't just go the Penske route of oh, fuck it, just let all the cup guys share a ride, you know? No, well, they got Creed. You guys, did you guys understand the joke I made about David Reagan being a rock star? Do you understand that meme or is that like before your time in NASCAR? That's probably before my probably time. Probably before my uh, time. So when David Reagan got the ride at Roush to drive the six car and replace Mark Martin, sponsor insisted they wanted David Reagan because he had, quote, rock star appeal. And it became kind of a joke and a meme because the dude is so not that. Yeah. <laughs> like he's a great dude. But it's like, oh, he's got rock star appeal. What's his fucking rock star appeal? Like, <laughs> so it became a bit of a joke. Oh, the rock star. Yeah, you guys don't remember that. Is his appeal being mid? 
if I did drive a red I'd be like, from Georgia, the rock star, David Reagan. That's funny. Mm. That's Who wants funny. to report on our favorite Stuart Haas driver now? Um, well, I'm, I don't really care about that car because that car is going to, once again, be... Like, I'll be begging for Eric Amarola to come back. Like low, tw- like low twenties. And I, when uh, I no, there's a down. crazy. When I say there's low a 20s, uh, a lot of spotter. Yeah, there's a lot of spotter changes too. Like Eddie DeHaan is leaving. Eddie DeHaan, going to Josh Berry. Yeah. Yep. Andy Houston's with Noah. Tony Rains is with Priest. Now I'm trying to find out. I'm looking right now. Who the hell's Chase Elliott's spotter? I have no idea. Because I know. I'm trying to find that out right now. Uh, there's a new, there's a new truck team now. Faction 46. We need new truck teams because they're slowly dying off year after year. It's like a new one, another one's closing down or all way. At least Spire is picking up the KBM slack because I guess Kyle Busch got tired of paying for underwhelming drivers to have a chance in the sport. <laughs> Shane Van Gisbergen is full time Xfinity. That's gonna about be, that. That is going to be fun to watch. Oh God! If him and AJ are getting to race together, okay. What is AJ doing? Cup? No, nope, he's said? doing Xfinity, and they don't have a driver for the sixteen. It's either going to be hmm. Ty Dillon or they're going to rotate. We get AJ versus Vangus Bergen at every Xfinity road course this year. Yeah, <laughs> and then we get Ty Dillon underperforming. Well, Ty Dillon. Yeah, I'm sure. Ty Dillon has under. Speaking of underperforming, speaking of underperforming, guess who's been reinstated? Gregson. No, 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 Cody Ware. Cody Ware. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I was my response to that news was why? <laughs> like, why? Well, apparently all the charges were just dropped. Like for just okay, forget about yes, it. But nope, horrible whatever. driver. So they announced um Mangus Bergen's cup schedule. He is running Coda. Spring Talladega, Fall Talladega, the Coke 600, Chicago Street Race, Watkins Glen, and Las Vegas Playoff Race. That's going to be interesting. So I can get, I'll get to see old Vangas Bergen no. at the uh, 600. Here, you want to know something I don't get? What? What? People are questioning why they don't have any truck races scheduled because the truck races apparently drive closer than the next gen and Xfinity series. You know why they don't have the truck series scheduled for them? Look at 2023 Phoenix. Enough said. He's living dangerously. He's running. Yeah. So and that's, that's enough risk. Flying. What you think? I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year, a truck ride pops up for him. Like, it'll probably just be like a spur. As Jim Cornette would say, a sperm of the moment offer will come along. Hey, you want to come drive his truck? And he'll do it. <laughs> I bet well, you I he'll run a truck racer, too. I don't doubt. I mean, that's what happened last year. He I was very team. excited to see full-time Xfinity for him. That's that's, that's really awesome. Like, that's going to be one of the top things to look forward to in 2024. Also in 2024. Yeah. Um <laughs> Uh, we got we got another supercars guy driving the sixty later. Oh, who's that? Ham something. Is that on his birth certificate? Something. I don't know. I don't remember his last name. Ham and cheese. I, I just know it's Cam. Oh, Cam. <laughs> yeah, Ham. Why? 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 Why would it be Ham? I don't know. I thought you said Ham. With an H. No. No. Actually, looking at Jayski during all this, and it's it's um, setting off pretty good discussion here because I'm getting caught up on some news because I've kind of tuned out on a lot of NASCAR stuff, just decompressing. Right. Yeah, yeah. When there's big news, I'll hear about it. And it's going to be time for me to go mid-podcast. And I'm looking at the driver lineup for this coming year. And it, it, next to number 16, Colleg Racing, it's just Ty Dillon with a question mark next oh, to it. That's funny. Like that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ty Dillon is going to be in the Xfinity Series. Yeah, he's going to be in the Xfinity Series. 
Haley Diggins in the that Xfinity team, so hooray. Yeah, yeah. that's exciting. Um, Xfinity's kind of getting a makeover this year. There's a lot of moving or shaking going on in the series. Things are changing. I'm about to look at that page and see if they have the driver lineup. I'm looking at the J-Ski Cup lineup, and it's pretty interesting. It's nice to have just a chart where I can say, okay. Okay, it says A.J. Almendinger will run a limited cup schedule for Colleg. Brody Kostecki will run limited cup for for RCR. 36 front row car, the money team, but they don't have Riley a driver. Hurts, and 36, probably. David Reagan at <laughs> the 60 part-time. Austin Hill, part-time in the 62. Again, 2311's third car. Nobody's been announced for that yet. Oh, Jimmy Johnson's coming back. Is Jimmy Johnson, I'm looking at this Jimmy Johnson <laughs> schedule. Has he announced anything? What, I don't see a schedule for Jimmy Johnson yet. What do you guys think of the new Toyota bodies? I think it's cool, and I think Jimmy Johnson will look cool driving them. <laughs> it's going to be weird. I, I Jimmy Johnson's going to go in a Toyota. I, I, I like that they, they try to make the Camry a little sportier because, you know, we all know that these aren't the real cars and everything, but it's it was always funny to me to be like, Camaro and Mustang and Toyota Camry and the Camry kicking their ass for a couple of years. I was like, it's kind of just strange. Well, the dance is just beating everyone's ass. Xfinity Series team chart. Now, Rookie of the Year battle, Haley Deegan, Jesse Love, and Shane Van Gisbergen. I don't think Shane's That's a pretty good rookie class. I think Shane's going to take it. I think Jesse Love takes it. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. Jesse Love's going to be too busy um, uh, knowing what it's like to have a teammate named Austin at RCR. He's going to know what it's like to be second favorite, I guess, because he's in the two car. Um, what else we got? Anything interesting here? A lot of moving and shaking in the fucking C tier cars. Like, oh man, Anthony Alfredo is going to drive the five car in Xfinity for our motorsports. All guys back for his ninety fifth season. Same as Smith, mate. Hey, Alfredo's a good guy year. and a good driver. I think he'd probably hey. do. Well. Josh Williams getting a big opportunity in the eleven. Oh man, college. Up to That's college. Cool. Remember the last Florida man who went through colleague? Yeah. Yeah, didn't he ride the wall at Martinsville or something like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw uh, did you guys see where Sheldon Creed threw more fuel on the fire and his feud with RCR? I did. Uh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean he, he uh, is, that was uh He is so wonderful. He is so past them right now. God, it's going to be the Hill Creed rivalry will explode at some point this year. I guarantee it. Because you know they're both going to be in, they're both in hyper competitive rides. They're going to have to deal with each other. Oh, yeah. And they did not reconcile or solve any problems after Martinsville. It's only gotten worse. I doubt they It's the off season and we're talking about it. I highly doubt they solved anything. A lot of empty Xfinity rides. Not a, not any major ones, but like the C teams are kind of empty. I've already asked this. I know I'm going back to this a lot. Is anyone going to be keeping track of Noah Gregson's crash counter? Who's going to buy the Stuart Haas charters after Noah puts the team out of business and Tony Stewart just wants to focus on drag racing? <laughs> I don't like the Stuart Haas charters. Like says Tony Stewart. I think one will go to 2311, one will go to Trackhouse, one will go to Spire, RCR will get a third car, or RFK will get a third car back. We'll time out of that. We'll see. Oh, God, is this Jesse Awuji's going to try to run some races? Jesus. Jesus. We're 52, Jimmy Mean, right up the road for me. I, I can go ahead and tell you guys, breaking news, You, can, I can confirm as, as an official source, Jimmy Means will not be showing up at the track this year with the 52 car. Told me last year it's just too expensive, so I don't even know why they're listed here. Number 88, Dale Jr., question mark. There'll be other drivers in 88 as well. Yeah. There you go. We look at trucks, even though I don't care about trucks anymore. Do you guys mind if I'm doing? I'm just kind of going through driver yeah, that's fine. lineups. Because Faction it's refreshing, refreshing my memory. Bad. It's refreshing my memory on things that have happened. Trucks, 
Boy, there's a lot of bums in this series. So the Faction 46 will be Fad Moffat, which people are already calling nepotism, nepotism, nepotism. Oh, I saw an article the other day. Is Thad Moffat the next big thing in NASCAR? And I was like, oh, no offense to him. He's, I'm sure he's a nice guy. He's kind of like a like a Landon Castle or a Paul Menard at best, you know? Yeah, like they're I, probably I can, better than I he can actually. I see Paul Menard and Thad Moffat for sure. Yeah, good guy. Not going to tear shit up. He doesn't tear shit up. No. Yeah, he's just not good. Thank God. You know, Thad Moffat is not the next big thing. Lane Riggs is getting Dane Smith's truck ride. That's, that's a big deal. Full time. Yep, sure is. Bailey Curry, full time for Nice. Matt Mills, full time for Nice. Oh, God. That's Daniel Da. With Thad and Moffitt should be on a team together. They're literally the same driver. Good news for Haley Deegan fans. Lawless Allen staying in trucks full time. Kyle Bush part time for Spire. I like how we get rid of KBM, but we don't get rid of Kyle Bush, which is the only reason I ever wanted to get rid of KBM in trucks. At Crafton, back to waste another year with his lisp and punch people, sucker punch people when they're not ready. Oh my! Just eat Ben Rhodes. Boy, Ben Rhodes is on that damn Matt Crafton, Johnny Sauter career path, isn't he? Ben Rhodes is young, and I feel like he's been in the trucks for fifteen fucking years. He has been there for a while, hadn't he? He could stay there because he's not very good. He's not worth the higher series. He's really not. Now, I know we were all making fun of Noah, but we all knew he was going to get that rod. We all have no expectations for him. It's just another. We don't like pay drivers, oh. says Tony Did Stewart. You... When was the last time? I that... do what you got to do. I think the last time the 10 was competitive was 2021 New Hampshire. Um, to Almirola's credit, he's had. A couple of really strong years there. I think 2018 was a really strong year. He almost he almost made the final four. He was running. Fuck, he was was he leading the race at Phoenix, which was the next to the last race, and he was in the champion. He was in the final eight. Like the motherfucker almost won. Like Almirola almost made the final four one time. We cannot we cannot let that slip from our memory because I remember. And from what I remember, I don't think he was far off in 2020 either. He's, he's, you know, he's not won a lot. He's not, you know, shaking the world or anything. He's not breaking any new ground. But he was, he's a pure-handed driver. He's, I'll give him all that. Out, out of the, out of, out of the three, I'll be happy to three, see him show up and run some Xfinity shit. Out of the three drivers that. Is in is or has been in the SHR ten car. Almirola's the best. Let let's face it. In case you're wondering, we're sixty days, nineteen hours, fifty eight minutes from the Daytona five hundred. But who's counting? Did you put a list on that just to make fun of Matt Crafton or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> we are one Jeff Hardy. We are one Jeff Hardy substance abuse violation suspension away from the Daytona five hundred. Damn. 60 days. Um, Our wrestle fans out there. So there's like a thing about who the leader at SHR is going to be now. Who cares? It really odd. Uh, I can't. Briscoe's going to have to step up because I think he's the one with the brightest future. But at the same time, he's kind of a dumbass. I would say Priest has the most talent, but it's just not clicking in the. Like, some drivers are great. Great drivers, but it just right, doesn't right. click Let's for them. Hard. Cup, Sorry, like I think Ryan Priest can win in just about anything, but maybe Cup's just not for him. Like, I think Ryan Priest is a great race car driver. Like Dave Blaney was a great race car driver. Dick Trickle, try not to laugh, was a great race car driver. But some guys just aren't meant for Cup, you know. Like it just doesn't. I, Mike Skinner, I think Priest could driver. do something. Yeah, I, I don't want to give up on Priest, but I, I would say Briscoe. He's got to step up. If we're talking about drivers under pressure and cup, I'd say Briscoe and Suarez. Oh, yeah. This year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Suarez is fighting for his damn life. I told you this at the end of the season. This coming year, Suarez is racing for his career. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
I, I, I like think, his career is on the line. I think Suarez is in a must win at some point this year. He's got to get out there and knock it out of the fucking parks. They got Zane Smith sitting there, and they got Carson Hosefar. Those are the guys that line to take his job. Well, that is if Hosefar doesn't go around dumping people again. Uh, we'll see about Hosefar. Clean slate, guys. You take those couple months off, come back new season, clean slate, start over. Yeah. I'm sure most of his competition don't feel that way. Yeah. Lucas Oil expands partnership with RCR to sponsor Kyle Busch for more this year. That's good. That's a cool-looking car. That's cool. Very generic. I mean, it kind of looks like a generic uh, HendrickCars.com knockoff scheme, but I like the colors. There you go. I like William Byron's new paint scheme. Which one? They're all over the, the place. This is what happened. The, nah, the, well, that one's a lot better, too, but the new Exalta Flames paint scheme is pretty nice. The, bl- the, black, square, the black square on the uh, quarter panel just kind of kills it a little bit. You like the new f- Exalta scheme? Yeah, I like the flames. I'm a sucker for flames on the 24. Okay, the flames are cool, but I don't like the rest of it. The Raptor paint scheme has a lot more character now. It's like they said, oh, let's try not to make the most bland-looking race car possible. Yeah. Hey, silly, it's Lumar cars, ugly. I mean, what are they going to learn? Stop making bright red or orange cars with teal numbers. Like, knock it the fuck off. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, this is what happens when a person with ADD is scrolling Jayski because he hasn't thought about NASCAR in Chase, two months. Chase has some bland cars this year. It's either the same thing again or it's just one solid color. I'll tell you this, though. The like, Raptor. Have, have you seen the Napa Raptor. car? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Napa car, but let's make sure we change all our paint schemes every year so everybody has to buy new die casts and new shirts and shit. Yeah, of course. That discourages me from buying merch, by the way. You know, yeah, hold on. I saw something on the, on, out of the groove, like a paint black all over the car in random places was to trick the optical scanning. Yep, I've noticed that. That's a recent trend in NASCAR. They put black around the wheel well and like the side skirt areas and shit like that. And there's, there's nothing they can do about it except improve their system because what are you going to do, ban black cars? My favorite thing is when you see the guys waiting to go into the technical inspection and they're standing over the car with umbrellas to keep it from getting hot. Because <laughs> it like... You know, the car will, like, flex or expand depending on the temperature. Like, not that you would even notice, but they stand over the cars with umbrellas to keep the sun off of them. Yeah, I've noticed that for sure. So we've got quite the cup rookie class this year. What do we think? Let's see. List them all for me. Let's see. Hosevar, Smith. Barry. Barry. Hmm. I mean, we could technically say Gregson since he didn't finish out his first rookie season. Wouldn't ask for. I don't think so. I mean, mm-hmm. He was already in the rookie running last year, so. It'll be, it'll be fun. I'm optimistic. They're changing a lot with short track cars, but it's not getting good reviews from the guys who test it because they're like, at the end of the day, you're still not solving the problem. The tires are too damn big. And we don't have enough horsepower. And NASCAR's like, no, it's, no, we got to change everything else. So, I saw, do you see the one thing they thought about? They proposed, okay, what if we just outlaw shifting on oh short tracks? Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> flag it. It's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so... Do that if they're going to outlaw shifting. So what, what does that mean for outlaw? What does that mean? What does that mean for restarts? Are they going to ban restarts? Okay, you can it's only just, shift in the restart zone. <laughs> um, you just got to start and forth. Just yeah. Gotta start and forth. yeah, like say you get a green light checker at like Martinsville or Bristol or something. It's like, oh, I was just trying to get ready for the restart. Shift like a no, nope, no shifting. Oh man, they're showing us the black flag. They caught a shift. You're shifting. <laughs> oh man, they're showing us the black flag. You were shifting. I'll have to come through pit road. Oh, yeah. Not my favorite thing from Dirt to Daytona was, and forgive the ear rate because I want to do it like it sounds in the game. You're in the wrong pit lane. I wake up on pit lane. 
We All right, come Bristol. on. Quit sticking around. Freaking You're in uh, the wrong. Freaking NASCAR eight, NASCAR eight five. Hey, dude, wake up! You're in the wrong pit lane. That's it's about the come only down thing. the long. That's about um, the only thing that I kind of enjoy about. The heat. I bet. I bet come late January, I'll be excited about NASCAR again, and I'll probably start streaming old NASCAR games. So if my capture card doesn't work, I put my phone in front of the Over TV, here. and it's got a pretty good quality camera. So I can probably start streaming old NASCAR games. I did stream some old PS2 games, and it looked all right. What are you Sorry, trying to I'm say, Caden? I'm just getting the dog. Ah. Oh, yeah, speaking of the NASCAR games. About the new license, I don't think we got to talk about that on the show, did we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. We were pretty hopped about it, actually. <laughs> yeah, now that I remember, it was it was before Phoenix, so wasn't it? I think it was, yeah, it was way back. It felt like. Hang on, just a second. Sorry, my dog. Yeah, it's bad right now. Why can I not say when the video was put was up? Yeah, it was back in August, so or not August, October. So yeah, it was before Phoenix, so we got to it. Uh, so. The last thing, the last thing we'll talk about is we have a guest on the on the show in February. God, I've already we alert the ship posters. I've all, I, I have already talked to Dale about this, Caden, and now I'm gonna fill you in along with everybody watching. TikTok personality R.J. Rogers will be on the show after the day after the day Gregson. Does that mean we get to bash Noah in front of this kid? Because I know he's a Noah fan. I have no, I have no idea. So. <laughs> Either way, well, not gonna be he, you know what? It's good for content. So I say just bring him on, and you ask him questions, and I'll shut the fuck up, and Caden will shut up, and we'll just let the guy ramble. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to make fun of his platform because it's TikTok. <laughs> Dude, TikTok's an easy target. To be or not to be. But yes, R.J. Okay. Rogers will be on double file after the after the Daytona 500. Okay. How did he know about us? How did you talk to him? Did you reach out okay. to him, or did he find you? We, I mean, we've been in and out of chat rooms for a little while, so I just oh okay, so, so I, you already so I so I just finally asked him, hey man, you want to come on? Yeah, it's man, fun. sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> So, oh, as you can tell, it's the off season. Yes, you can. Doing, I don't even know. So I guess that's about. I haven't thought about that. About wraps up this episode, this Christmas episode. Merry Christmas, happy. Oh, look at you being in a hurry. Usually, I'm the one trying to get out. Okay. Merry Christmas, mother fuckers. I didn't, I didn't say I'm in a hurry. There's just nothing to talk about. That's true. I, I was going to say it's the off season. News is trickling here and there. NASCAR podcasts have come to a halt, so I've struggled to find shit to listen to at work as I realized that 65% of my podcasts are NASCAR podcasts. <laughs> oh. We're starved for content, but... You well, know. I, I will say this before we go. Denny Hamlin may be may not be 100% but come Daytona 500 time. That's after right. His, after yeah, shoulder surgery. surgery. Mm. He said he, they got in there and saw there was more damage than initially thought. It's it's hard, man. Like being a cup driver. Well, oh man, I got this nagging injury. Good thing I've only got like two and a half months to get it taken care of. You know, like. Hey, fuck. don't worry. Richard Petty won the Daytona 500 right after surgery. Well, Kurt Angle won an Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Well, how many races did Dale, Dale, Dale Earnhardt win with uh, that collarbone? Not that many, but he did win with it. He but did he win did. when he had his neck and shoulder issues. Won Bristol in 99, and he was like at his lowest point health-wise, physically. Of course, I'm going to still root against Hamlin because I fucking hate him, but... Uh... Well, you you hate Hamlin, I hate 
Elliott. So. Well, we're still at the point before the upcoming season where everybody goes in and thinks their driver or their team's going to have a shot to do well. And really, this coming year is interesting because we're not going to know what everybody has till over a month in the season because our first two races are super speedway races. Right. So we're yeah. really not going to learn shit. We're not going to learn shit for the first three weeks. Which is going to be a bad day for me because right. Larson's not good there. By the way, who, who the fuck wants to go to Atlanta in February? It's cold. It's like the one time of year it's cold in Atlanta. I froze so my ass I off there last spring. I think two super speedways in a row is my question. I think it's because they're like, we, they do get a lot of new viewers for the Daytona 500, and they want to give them the same kind of race to follow and wait to keep them coming back. So I'm sure, I think that's why they stuck Atlanta early. And they also have a second Atlanta race in the playoffs. Yikes. And what and what was, that bridge and, and what was the uh final race before the playoffs? Wasn't it like Darlington. 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 Yeah, Darlington. I don't think is that bad a thing because Darlington's a good track. Yeah, I just like it better as the big playoff kickoff race. But it'll only be like that this year. Next year I guarantee it'll go back to being the first race of the playoffs. They just had to shift it around because the two week break for the Olympics. They want to keep Darlington on Labor Day weekend, so it just happens to land us the 26th well, race. Since we're basically done here, I'm going to go ahead and get off since I'm in a car right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting off. I don't this podcast, you ain't. Yeah. <laughs> you Be seeing y'all and Merry Christmas, all of you, you no one that's really watching. Should a, really should have made a 12 days of Christmas NASCAR theme. And remember, song, Denny Hamlin sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Championships. That's what Denny Hamlin got for Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and stop Here's. recording. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this, for listening to this episode of Double File with Cowboy Caden and Dale. Or Cowboy right, Dale. ODD, or an, AC, uh, an ADD convention. We were bouncing all over the place. but. <laughs> and catch us. The fir- catch our first episode of the new season after the clash, mm-hmm. and then, like I said, our first guest will be on the episode after the Daytona 500. So with that, I'm going to holler, holler, and listen to us next time. <laughs>